Welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna to be hopping in the boat with Jeff Gustafson. He's gonna share a bunch of tips. We're gonna catch a bunch of big fish. And without further ado, let's jump right in because we have a lot to cover. Keep him there. Uh, yeah. Oh, he's gotta be on the follower program with these small mouths. <laughs> There was two or three with it, and one of them was really big. I can't believe I didn't get one yet, but sometimes once they know the gig's on, then they... Yeah! <laughs> Bingo! <laughs> Let's get a look. Oh, they're magnums. That's a big one. Yeah! We've been using these things all year, but... This is sort of the first peek at the new Elite Series. Uh, the whole lineup of jigs, really, but the little football jig's my favorite. It's a Ned Rig head, but it's got some weight to it. Easy to cast out in the wind, fish in deeper water, uh, get to the bottom quick, and it's got a Gamagatsu hook in it. That's what you want for these big smallmouths. So we're gonna get this guy back, and uh, we're about to have a fun day of smallmouth fishing. Now Jeff is gonna talk about when the football head style jig comes into play versus all the other options you could be fishing with plastics when you're chasing big bronze backs. All right guys, so obviously for me, big Ned Rig fan. Um, fish, fish smallmouth a lot all over the country, all over Canada, uh, and it's pretty tough to beat. Kinda has replaced the tube. I still use tubes a bit, but it kinda has replaced the tube for just a catch smallmouths from two feet of water to 40 feet of water, you know, all year. Um, you can catch minnow eaters on it, you can catch crayfish eaters on it. It's just, a, it's it's pretty hard for them to pass up. So the, the thing I love about the football head jig is you can see right now we're on some big water. It's a little bit windy and so I'm able to get my jig to the bottom. That's where it's gonna do its thing. And I still am able to feel it. Um, just a lot of advantages. It's, it's a heavy jig and a compact design, so it fits nice with some of the small baits that we like to use for, for smallies. And uh, it's got a great hook on it. So that's all the, you know, the ingredients that I want. The hook's important, and uh, it's got a good keeper on there to hold your plastics on. Um, and, you know, it's, it, it gets the job done for me. So I'm gonna show you how to catch, how, I, how, how it works for smallmouths here and um, hopefully we'll put some big ones in the boat. Speaking of big ones, here's another double up with a couple really impressive bronze backs. Keep doing your thing. Big one. Oh, sorry. You're good actually. If history repeats itself, I would venture to guess that there's more than, yeah, more than one there. Yep. <laughs> uh -oh. We got a rodeo. We might have issues. <laughs> We're clear so far. Okay, we'll switch the switcheroo. Gotta love the late season when these things start to group up a little bit. And when your buddy hooks one, you gotta drop drop another bait down there. And, Cause they'll have friends and followers. Oh, they're just so big and chunky and fat. <laughs> cool, look at that. Mini football head. The thing that I like the most about these jigs too is you got the Gamagatsu 604 hook. So that's a little heavier gauge wire and uh, you know, you can pull on these things and you're not gonna open that hook up. Um, you can catch four and five pounders on it. And as a tournament angler, that's what we want, right? Oh, man, it's really interesting that that hook point won't roll over because of the quality of that hook and that, that the shank is just dense enough where you don't have to worry about it bending out. So on that one, it, it rolled into that rock, like into the crease, and yeah. I was able to pop it out. And as soon as that thing came out, the fish bit it. And I mean, man, they're fat. Yours is a little ball. bigger than mine, huh? footballs though. Next up, Gussie is gonna share his jigging cadence, how he likes to work the bait, and how he gets bit when he's using jigs like these. Right now, we're fishing a 
just sort of a big flat with some scattered rock and boulders. So we're casting and the nice thing about the football design and the heavier design is I can fish it pretty fast. Like I'm not having to sit there, wait for it to get to the bottom, drag it real slow. You can see I'm kind of hopping it along. Uh, so that, and that design is kind of naturally gonna make the jig stand up and, uh, and just look good. You know, it's just like a little, that's a perfect little crayfish imitator. And if I'm fishing deeper water, you know, at the St. Lawrence River, say, um, I'll use the 3 8 the heaviest one, and I can get to the bottom quick, keep my jig under the boat, um, and, you know, sort of stay on top of it so I'm not getting snagged all the time, maintain good contact with it. And that's sort of the advantage to the, to the football design. Just for me, I'm fishing a lot of new water all the time, so I want to be able to cover ground, move, find biters, um, and that football design just kind of helps, helps make that a little bit more efficient. Next up, Gussie's going to put another smallmouth in the boat. Big surprise there. And he's going to share some good tips on the type of plastics that he likes to pair up with these jigs. Oh, I think we found a load, boys. That was just sinking and we got it. Oh, yeah. When it comes to putting baits on these football heads, um, you know, I'm using the Ned, Ned style baits. Use a TRD, a hula stick. This is the a little bugsy, a little creature bait. Um, and uh, just, you know, anything that's crayfish imitating that you can kind of, uh, look at that, stick some good. Crayfish bug imitating. Um, put little swim baits on there as well too. I know, you know, when you get on some of these shallow flats, Sturgeon Bay, prime example, we'll actually roll little swim baits along the bottom and, uh, and you know, great way to kind of cover some water and, um, but you're still using, you know, giving them a finesse approach. But that's the biggest thing that I really like about the football head design is just it's heavy um, and it just allows you to be efficient and, and cover some water while still, you know, using a small finesse style bait. Now I've spent a lot of time chasing smallmouth throughout the years and of all the days that I've been out on the water, I don't know that I've been doubled up or seen as many doubles as on this particular day out fishing with Gussie. <laughs> I'm just gonna reel them in because yeah. I, instead of uh, trying not to pull the whole pack of them out here. <laughs> oh yeah, this is going to be a questionable boat <laughs> flip, I think, but, but yeah, Woo. <laughs> look at that, every one of them just like tapped in the front, oh these things man, late in the season like this, they get so chunked up, beautiful looking fish. If you're looking for more information on the new finesse football jigs from Northland, Gussie's gonna sit down right now and share some of those specifics just so you have a little bit of a rundown. Okay, finesse football jig, got that one also in four colors and four different sizes, 3 16th up to 3 8 and then green pumpkin, uh, rusty crawdad, black blue, isn't that thing pretty? And uh, black, so rigging these up, Again, just we, t we caught some fish, talked about them, but you didn't actually get to see the nice collar on there and then a little bit of a wire keeper. So that's gonna do a good job of holding your baits up. Um, I'll often put a piece, a dabble of super glue on there too. Just helps to hold the baits on a little bit. Talk about it all the time. You want your bait, your plastic to be on the jig head nice and straight and that's gonna prevent line twists and it's gonna help the bait just look a lot more natural. But yeah, these football jigs are smallmouth fish catching machines. You can catch real and big four and five, six pounders on these strong hooks. And uh, I love these things, man. Big part of my arsenal. And uh, yeah, we got you covered for whatever size and color you want. 
Well, that's about all we got for you in this video. Special thanks to Gussie for sharing a bunch of good information. And hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you learned something. And if you did, make sure to hit that little red subscribe button down below because we have a lot more awesome content coming in the future. And until then, we will see you in the next one.